Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Banished Using the Megabot. Alright, in the last episode, we are... Well, we're now rebuilding the Foresters, because, you know what, they actually seem to have burned them down, and I don't know how that happened. So... They're getting that done, I put a priority on that. And we're gonna go over here, we're gonna see what we can start doing over here. And... Holy crap. There's always a bunch of nomads. Um, uh, uh, you know what, no, did not. I'm, I'm sorry, we're, we're too much right now. That's too many children. That, that is a lot. Okay, so in the last episode, I was a bit scattered. So, we will ignore those nomads, and we will come over here to the new pasture area, and I also learned a little bit about some other ideas we could also start putting in. Now, where are they? Animal pens. We have a wool pen. We have milk pen. And we also have an egg pen. And these are absolutely fantastic. Except that they need domesticated animals, so we actually have to produce them. Or start trading for them. And it, right now we don't have that. We just have the animals. So we're just going to work with that. And, okay, so we're going to get somebody in the tailor. And we are going to start making wool. And we... Okay, that's not done yet. And we are going to get somebody in the creamery. We put four because we have two and two. Okay. That's getting done. Um, and what are these people? The storage barns are going to need to be done really, really, really soon then. Okay, so I don't know what we're going to do with those storage barns, but we are actually going to start putting some carts in. And uh, where were they again? I always forget where they're at. There they are. Yes, so in other words, if they need resources, we could start putting something like that. So we actually have somebody who stores them for nearby. And, uh, thank you, Niall, if I'm saying your name right, for the comment. In fact, we need to put a, a stone one, at least a stone one, in front of the port. So, let me get this done. We need wool here. And actually, it's gonna come right in, right, isn't it? It's gonna go right here. For, you know what, we might not even need one for this area, because everything is going to be right around here in just a moment when they get that done. And... We will then move on to the port. Okay. We are going to go over here. Okay, we have a trader, don't we? Garlic bread, eggs, strawberries, pie. We have more pie. Pear. We are actually good on food. Turtles. What the hell? You can... Turtles. Sure. Okay, you know what? That, that, we don't need anything from you right now. We're good on food. We are going to put in a... Wait, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, stone market cart. Um, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. We have the well there. We got a nomad well there. I'm wondering, maybe we just have them parked. We have them parked. <laughs> no, that's gonna block it. Uh, oh, man. Okay, so we can have a stone cart there. And I'm actually gonna move it add. Oh, wrong bag. And I'm gonna put a... We have an iron one. No, we're not gonna trade. No, we're not trading iron anytime soon. Okay. Where am I? Oh, there's the wood one. I'm gonna put a wood one on the other side too. And this might actually make it interesting. So, who are you? How are you? Doing okay? You're idling. Okay, whatever. Idle all you want. There's plenty of people around. Mm, let's see what kind of seeds we have in here. We could actually have a real vineyard. Um, actually, nothing we really need at the moment, so I'm going to say, um, a new, a new. So, we're gonna have that stone cart there, we're gonna have a wood cart here, we're gonna have somebody working on each one. That might help the process of having things being placed and replenished, so we can trade easier. So we actually have resources and time, so thank you for that comment. We have a wood one over here, so that should be okay. And, uh, what does this take? This takes lumber and bricks, so that's the next door. That's gonna be alright. This is our sawmill. We're making lumber here. 
And what I'm thinking is we're actually using a lot of our lumber to make firewood and stuff. Uh, but I don't want to stop that process. Wait, what's going on? Somebody has yellow fever? A child has yellow fever? Oh, thank God there's a clicker right here. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, hopefully, hopefully that, that person didn't spread anything. Okay, so what are you doing? There are citizens without jobs. Why? You are a forester. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your workplace burned down. That is true. That is true. What are we doing over here? Let's let's get this built. All right. We have the second tailor in. Put somebody else in there. And we will get wool going on. I noticed something about the medieval tailor, though. You actually have more options. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Also, if we get some leather from the cows... Or something we could probably if we get enough we could actually probably make warm coats but you know what I'm beginning I guess for wool coats right now that's okay because I think this is the one that actually has the expansion isn't it so let me go back to the refined resources it's this one right and this is a residence so this could actually go on top what, what does this do? Where does this go? How does this get put in? What? Is it just stairs? You know what? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. No freaking idea. Yeah, that might actually be homes. That might actually be very useful then. So we're gonna see what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the wood cart and the stone cart. We are going to hire somebody in here and over there. And we need another person. We might actually need a few vendors then. Aha! Okay. I might have actually needed them. Okay, so I needed a bunch of vendors. That That's quite alright with me. Because we have plenty of people. We have plenty of builders. And I'm thinking, do we... Let's expand and, and start stacking a little bit. While they get the pastures done, because that is my primary objective for this, is getting the pastures done. But I want to see what this is going to look like over here. And I want to start upgrading the homes over here. So we are going to take a quarter piece. Um, and rotate it. Let's see if I can rotate that right. And put that there. I wonder if I actually put the third floor already. Okay, wrong one. Okay, so then I'll put the third floor. Okay, okay. And we're going to go back to the other side, because these are these homes. And we are going to put a home there, a home there. Oh, that's a quarter piece also. Okay, so we're going to put a quarter piece like this. Okay, line it up. And then we're going to put a third floor quarter piece like that. Stack the options. Go back to the other menu, and we're going to start putting the third floors over here. So, one over there, and one over there. And we're going to see what that looks like. Going to see what that looks like. I'm actually interested. Uh, the reserve of tools is low. Speaking of, we have like a freaking million of these. We have five of them here. We have a whole row. I do like that. I do like that little option. So, that that's pretty cool. Um... I think we are going to be good on tools, though. I mean, this one made 64. This one made 64 last season. And there's four seasons in a year. I, I guess that's winter. I, oh, that's fine. That's fine. So that means in autumn, they all made a pretty good amount. And let's see. are they? Where are they putting the tools, though? Where are they putting the tools? That is a good point. Should we have, like, a storage house for the tools, then? We are going to put... Is there a specialized storage for tools? Okay. General warehouse. What are these? Oh, there's like pieces to these, aren't there? Oh, well, crap. What is all? Whoa! Good lord. What is this? A Tudor town barn? Huh. Firewoods chopper sack. That's kind of cool. Some cellars. 
small angled cellar. Click the other one. Oh, okay. What is this? Storage yard? This is a storage yard, right? It, it, what's so special about that one? No. Um, you know what? I don't even think it matters. I think I'm just going to put a barn here. I'm just going to put a bar barn. Screw it. We need a big barn. Yeah, big barn. Oh, for the love of God. Rotate it. I keep hitting the wrong button. I think maybe I'm just going to put a regular barn here. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. So I'm thinking maybe we can put a barn here. Um, we can probably get away with that and have the little buildings and have... If we need some more, we can probably put a couple more here. And I'm thinking that'll look good. So we'll keep this barn right next to that. I'll put the tools there. That should solve some storage over here. I... In the original episode, last episode, I thought I could actually fit more people here. However, I think there is an advantage to this. I really do think. I think you might be able to actually stack on this. But I'm not quite sure. I think the advantage is that you can actually make all these different kinds of tools. Rather than the smaller ones. Which I, I think you can... No, those ones you can. I think the original ones are the ones you can't. Okay, let's let's check up on these. Probably not going to have anything we really want right now. Because we are good on food. You're just here for backup. We have to do something with these bison. What happened to the other one? I hope we didn't lose one. Oh, crap. They don't die, do they? Oh, my God. I can't believe I forgot about them. Beef cows. Dude, we're doing it. We're doing it. We are getting some beef cows in here. We are going to use our stone because we have 800, 1600, 1600 divided by 7. How much is a thousand then? You're overpaying by a hell of a lot. Okay. That's a good thing to know. Additional 200 units. So what was that? Five? You're overpaid by that. I'm not doing any math here. I am literally just guessing. So, 229, you're paid. Okay! I finally figured out the math. We have trade, we have beef cows now. So let's go back to the pastures. We have one pasture done. I'm wondering if we can put the actual trade bison in here now. So, we have the trade bison. We're gonna get that in here and make sure they don't die off. We are gonna get somebody in here, at least one person. In fact, we're going to do two people per pasture for the moment. And we are going to, We're still waiting for them to get that done, too, aren't we? So I'm thinking we have one, two, three. We may need another pasture over here. So maybe we'll put a slightly smaller one over here. Um, just for the beef cows. And we'll have the beef industry probably over here then. And I'm thinking that's cool. We can actually have some, some meat going on. We can actually have some cured meat. Let's put another standard pasture in, because that's what we're going to do. And I can't see a damn thing. Of course I can't. There's a freaking million trees around here. Um, I almost could have that perfect, but that'll run into the river if I terraform that. So I am not going to do that. Okay, so ends here. Boom, 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 road. Boom, 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 boom. And we're just going to make it... All the way to, I think it's 30, isn't it? 30? Okay. And then we'll probably have the beef industry going over here with bridges going into the city so they can start trading. And I'm, I'm guessing this might end up being housing. So let's check up over here. Ooh, okay. That particular model looks like a little bit off, so I have to actually switch them. But you know what? I like it. I like it. I, I like this. We could actually make a whole city row going on now. And it, I kind of feel a little sad about putting these brewers' homes down. Hmm. But they are... Most of these are old people. Well, okay. Just that one. <laughs> Never mind. So I guess that's going to keep them happy for the moment to have enough homes. Uh, we could have some more fun over here while they're getting the pastures done. And we can start stacking up this side. So this is awesome. Uh, we're going to do the quarter homes first, because it's going to be easier that way. Okay, 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And then we have the third floor. Wow, this gets easier and easier every time. Okay. Then, oh, we don't have a corner piece here. Okay. So we are not going to do that then. In fact, I think I might actually... I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I'm going to make a whole row here, and we're going to see what it looks like. And whatever. We're just going to do this then. <laughs> Forget that. We will put this and start putting these models in. I think that's going to look good. Um, well, they're going to be stacked third floor, so I'm just going to do with the random and see what it looks like. Because I do like the idea of having these random different mods. Like, I'm not sure about that one, though. I'm thinking that one, yes. Maybe that one, that one. I do like those. I do like those. And they're going to get that built, and we're going to get some more of the city. I do enjoy this. Oh, I am severely enjoying this. In fact, I believe I can actually start stacking homes on top of this. Making this right here a sad spot for the dentist. Because I believe I can actually start stacking on top of it. Yes. Yes, I can. In fact, you can actually have shops at the bottom level and then have homes at the top. That's incredible. That is incredible. Oh, that changes the game for me entirely. Entirely. And honestly, I, if you haven't known this either, I bet this is going to change your game too because this is incredible. Oh, yes. And by the way, we're going to have quay walls and we're going to have this all... We're going to have this all looking nice and perfect and we're going to match this to the port. Also, what are you doing over here? I'm sorry, wrong one. What are you doing over here? Beef cows. Okay. Oh. That's right. I never did dismiss you, did I? I have a hard time dismissing. Is the passenger done? Good God. Come on now. Speed this up. Okay, so this side is not getting done as quickly because all of my builders and laborers actually have to walk from the inside of town and they all live over here and that's it's quite an issue for them because they're walking all over the damn place and they can't get anywhere. As for the bison, we have quite the issue because we only have one trade bison now. We are down to one. One died. So I'm going to say we do have a little bit of an issue with that. I was going to start breeding them from trade, but we're going to have to find another one. So another time another trader comes, we're going to go get one. Other than that, we do have our inventory issues solved here, so that's good. And we got all this upgraded as far as we can. And we have this. This is looking good. This is looking really good. And had I known that we could put these shops in at the bottom, I'm going to probably change this whole marketplace then. I'm going to see if there's storage and everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what you can stack on top of. This has been awesome. And I might add a quarter piece here. Or I might just make a little plaza. I don't know. It's going to look good. We're going to get to the point where we're going to start getting some actual details in. It just takes little by little. I'd rather upgrade the homes first and see what all that looks like. In fact, what I'm going to do is touch it off with a wide boulevard. Because why not? We are a city. We are a city. And this one is slightly off and some of these homes. But that's okay. We will do this. We will do that. We will cater to the people. And, well, I might actually replace all of these with the row homes. Because now, we can keep these as a lower lower end and keep them next to the wheat farms. I do like the way that looks. And keep this as the main city. And uh, probably expand the city over here. But that will be a little bit later. Right now, we don't have to. We can stack homes all we want. So... Slowly, though. I have a problem. I have an addiction. Ooh. Okay. I think we are almost done here. Okay, so let's, let's check up on this forester over here. It looks like it got rebuilt. Awesome. Okay. We're going to use that. Oh, even the, everything got rebuilt. Nice. I can't believe this, this druid hut. Why is there a thousand herb limit? Oh, you're awesome. Look how many herbs you're... That is great. Okay, so we're going to need an apothe apothecary and everything soon, so this is cool. This is There's just so much. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. And these beef cows. 
Uh, did they get the pastures done? Almost. 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 There's a trader. Okay. Okay, what do you have? Smoked cheese, salted meat, pork, blah, 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 blah. No, gonna save everything for what I need. And then we also have you. Rum, tequila, liquor, mead, holy crap. We're doing it. Tequila, rum. Rum is a little bit cheaper with mead. Let's keep the peoples happy. Let's keep the, let's get some rum going on. How much is that gonna be? 250 stone. Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we just have fun? Have fun. Well, let's get 500 rum. Well, no. Okay, let's see how much I have to trade. A hell of a lot. Well, we have plenty of stone. I don't know. Oh, crap. Maybe we won't do that. Never mind. Okay, a million years later, we have the next pasture. And I'm going to say we're going to put the beef cows in. We are not going to let them die. Speaking of dying, we have zero trade bison. Well, okay, that didn't work out at all. We have the tailors here. We are going to have to trade the beef cows here. And then we are going to have... We're going to have the sheepies over here. That means we're going to change this pasture. <laughs> oh, God. Well, so much for having um, bison. So we are going to get a different trade animal and try with that. Yes, we will actually decide to put the sheepies here. And we'll put the, yeah, we'll put the sheep here so we can have instant access to the wool and the tailors. And then we might actually put a couple medieval ones around here too. Just because you can actually make more with them. And this one will be my dairy cows. And then you have this one over here, which is going to be my trade animals. So we're going to get that done. Let me get a quick road here before my OCD. I know I see that over there that needs a worker, but I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm going to get the road in first so I don't forget it. All the way around. I got it. Actually, that's also bothering me, the fact that I didn't put anybody in there yet. It's, it's also kind of annoying me. Everything is annoying me right now. Okay. I can't believe we lost our trade bison. Okay, so we have the beef cows, and we are going to get... We have nobody in here this week. Two people? Okay, so I'm actually going to say three people for each one. So three. So that means one, two. That's full. And then when this is built, that will be full. So I guess we're going to put the sheepies in in the next episode. We are getting the pastures done slowly, slowly, slowly. Then we can go over here, we can check up on the peoples, and the peoples are looking pretty fine, and they're enjoying this. Now we have the younger crowd actually moving in and starting to have babies. They're breeding like rabbits once again. Holy crap, we have 71 children. Okay. <laughs> We're going to definitely be expanding very quickly. I do love that. We're going to be a major city now. So, I am definitely going to be leaving this here. We're growing, and we're going to expand and put some more housing over here on this side, too. I just wanted to experiment with how that looked. And I think it looks pretty good. And we're going to put different kind of marketplaces over here. And then we're going to have the stackable homes on top. So we can actually have not just the homes at the bottom. We can actually have the dentist, the clinics, stores, produce. Oh, we can do everything. That's awesome. And... Also, this area will be pretty much finished. Standard pastures almost almost done, so we'll get those sheepies in. And we're just going to have to wait for all the animals to start, start pouring out. And we are expanding, and we're going to get some more fancy things going on. We're just getting the basic area set up. So we're going to have the pasture area over here. We're going to have the main town over here, the port area. We're going to have the industry area all the way over here. Uh, which is basically the metals industry, you know, tools and all that, whatnot. We have the resources over here. And, um, who are you? What, what are you complaining about? Iron Shack. Oh my god, I forgot I put you in. Two. How many do you have? Four. Okay. One, two. One, two. Two. Okay. We are full. That's rebuilt. We might need to put another one in, but this is the wood industry over here. And... As we get to the orchards, we have a farm, which is pretty much half the town. And then we are going to get to our fancy bread section over here. And then we are going to start putting the actual orchards and other four farms out there.
So, slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, we also did get these carts in, and they're working perfectly and helping out. So, <gasps> freezing cows! Okay, you know what? We are actually going to have two of them. We need them. We actually do. We actually do need them. Because I think my other cows are glitched. You're overpaying. You know what? I don't even care. I'm going to do that. When they're done, we're going to get the cows, okay? And we're going to add some more, because just in case the other ones are glitched. I just wanted to get that out of the way. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, as always, enjoy yourselves, and thanks for watching. Peace!